Hey guys, what's going on? Base Model 3 here, back with another video. Today's video is going to be in the ND, and a little bit different, because I'm doing kind of a driving vlog thing, which I've never done before. I've also tried to record this video like three times at this point, so I'm hoping that this time works out, because this is probably the last time I'm going to get to a chance to record the video. And the reason I say the last time I'm going to get a chance to record this video is because the ND is being sold in about five hours to Carvana. So... <clears throat> This is kind of an unexpected decision, and it kind of happened really fast, but I ended up deciding to sell the ND Miata to Carvana. So I had a couple reasons for this. The first reason is that I actually have positive equity on my car loan. So Carvana is going to be paying me out about $1,000 more, or $1,500 more, I forget, than what I owe on my car loan, which is kind of like a win, because I put 20,000 miles on the car. The reason that there, there is positive equity on the car is because of, I believe it's because of the COVID-19 pandemic. I guess because of all the new car factories being shut down and then a lot of manufacturers are just delaying releases of their 2020 models to 2021. This has caused a car shortage. So because of this, you know, used car values are going up. So this is like the best time to sell a used car apparently. And Carvana is offering very competitive prices. I really don't like having a car payment either. I thought I would be okay with it. You know, financial wise, I can afford it, but it just sucks having to make that car payment every month versus just owning a car outright. You know, it's one thing I miss about having in the NA and obviously I still have the base model. Don't have a car payment on either of those. I just own them. The only thing I have to pay every month is insurance and that's less than $100 a month for both cars, or it was. So. Having a car payment, along with the fact that once I pay this car off, I actually don't really benefit from paying this car off. As a car enthusiast, it doesn't really mean much to have a brand new car with a warranty to me. Because at the end of the day, if anything breaks, you know, if, if I buy like a like an, an Amy out or something as a daily, anything breaks on that, parts are plentiful and I know how to fix it myself. I'm not afraid to fix it myself. Paying off a brand new car for a regular person, you know, to them in their mind, oh, I have this brand new car. Oh, it might have a warranty, it might not, but it, it's newer, it has all these creature comforts, and most important, it's reliable, so nothing is going to break. It's not gonna cost me that much in mechanical expenses for the next couple years. But for me, a car enthusiast, I'm realistically going to spend less than a thousand dollars a year on maintaining my vehicle because I know where to get the parts. You know, there's no benefit to having this car paid off. The only real benefit, which I'm going to miss, is the clout. But everywhere I go in this car, I get so many compliments, you know, so many heads turn. I could be going to the drive through to get some food or coffee, I could be going to get gas. And someone will compliment me. Someone will come up to me and be like, what is that? Because people don't believe that this is a Miata. People don't believe, they can't fathom that this is a Mazda. You know, they think Mazda, they're still stuck in 2005 where, oh, Mazda's owned by Ford, blah, 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 blah. And they, you know, they see this and they're like, whoa, that can't be a Mazda. That's gotta be, I'm serious. People have asked me if this is a Porsche. So, and I attribute this to the fact that this is probably the most aggressive Miata that Mazda has designed to date. Um, the front end is just so aggressive. The body lines are sharp uh, compared to the rounder appearance of all the older Miatas. You know, the rounder appearance kind of gives the older Miatas the cute look. You know, the only other Miata that was probably almost as aggressive is the NC2 and NC3 with their uh, facelifted front bumpers. So the aggressive look really changes the appearance of the Miata and gives it a new demeanor. But on the inside, when you, when you get up under this car, it's still a Miata. It still has a PPF, a tiny transmission, a tiny differential, tiny axles. It's still under 2,500 pounds. I think the ND weighs in at 2,350 with the uh, retractable hardtop. It's still a Miata at the end of the day. Still handles great, still corners great, still the perfect track day car. I'm happy that I actually did, speaking of track days, I'm happy that I did get to do a couple track days in this car as well. Took this car to Road Atlanta last year. 
So I was supposed to release a vlog about that, but we kind of got caught up in the drive there and then just being there. So I never really got around to recording all the content that I wanted to do while I was in Atlanta. But I did indeed drive this car down to Atlanta, tracked it at Road Atlanta that weekend, and then managed to make it home in one piece without balling the car up. Carvana, if you're watching this, uh, this was a joke. You know, I have some great memories with this car. I've made some great memories with this car in the year and a half that I've owned it. I and mean, I put, obviously, 20,000 miles on it. It realistically should have been way more than 20,000 miles. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, I've been working from home most of the year. So I've only put 4,500 miles on this car this year from January. For comparison, this time last year, I probably had close to 12,000 miles on this car from January until August of 2019. So kind of a big difference when you don't have to commute to work so i'll probably end up getting another miata just because i want to continue daily a miata it's probably going to be an na or an nb unless i can find a decent nc for a good price so the hunt is on for that but i just really kind of wanted to make this little vlog video about why i'm selling the nd and you know just my reasons behind it and my experience with it this is probably going to be the coolest car that I've ever owned, mostly due to the, the retractable hardtop, which I forgot to talk about earlier. But the retractable hardtop, you know, with the hard hardtop being up just adds to that aggressive look. And then just seeing the top fold back, you know, into its spot is just like kind of kind of impressive kind of cool to watch you know kind of has iron man vibes to it but anyways that is my uh those are my reasons for selling my car and hopefully the next the next you know we're keeping it in the mazda family we're keeping it in the miata family so and while all that is being done this means i have a little more money to spend on the base model now as well so that's good so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one see you later